And gentlemen, it's that time of year where it's time to take a look at your, how can we say this? Leah. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Or brows. Brows. Sorry, brows. Yes. Let's say brows. brows. Leah's here to help us out because it's very important to have the right brows and the right look. And you need to pay attention because some people overdo it overdo or it. underdo it. Yep. Or even just cut them off by accident. I mean, those are the worst. The saddest ones that break my heart. They've got none. Or the Sharpie where they're like a little bit too much. Yeah. We want it to be just perfect and regular, and it doesn't have to be for all only women. Right, men too, and men that's something to go get the proud yep. trim. And you I know they start offering at some of the barber shops too. Yes, exactly, and you can groom them up as well. Okay, but what are we doing? What we're talking is alternatives to microblading. So I am microbladed. Basically, microblading is small cuts into the skin that are like a hair-like motion. Okay, and then they put a little bit of ink in it. Don't move a little bit. Let's see. Can we get a close-up? Can we get? Can we see that a little bit? Is there? Do we have a picture of it? Or no? We just can we see? So you're saying these little lines in here? Yes. When we talk so about if that. you pull it down so you can kind of see how the little hairs are up there. They're just like little inked on hairs. Now they're really tricky because um, it's a little bit painful, it's pretty expensive, and it does, you know, last a good amount of time. Um, but it's really tricky because it scares people. It does, so, so when they hear that word. So. Right, so okay. how, do we, how do we have an alternative? Right. Um, Hannah actually, at her studio, she does something called henna brows. Okay. And so ancient henna, same way that they do henna on their hands and feet. Um, you can put henna into the brow. And Jordan here has henna in her brow. Okay. And so she has a very, very light brow originally. Um, it's almost non-existent. You can see her little hairs are that dirty blonde color. But beneath the brow, it's very skin-like, so it looks really sparse. So and she has just that henna placed on the brow. Okay, and here goes a before picture as we're taking a look now. And then, as we see now, as you yes. mentioned that, that's very interesting. That that it looks it looks so natural. It is. It's too. very very natural. It's not too much. Um, and if someone is in the mood, is really wanting to have that full brow but not too much, it's a really great way to go. Okay. She's also um, laminated, and so laminating is a form of perming the hair so that it continues to go in one direction. Oh. You can see that the hairs really really go any direction that you want. If they're not laminated, sometimes they're too unruly and they don't stay in that direction. Okay. So what is the, the, I guess, the look? Do you want them all over the place or do you want them going in one direction? Perfectly personal. Everything is, everyone is different. You can see these two gals, they really don't have a ton of, of product on, if you want to look straight forward. Um, they don't have a ton of product on, um, but they have that full brow and you want to have at least a full brow. Okay. Um, some things that we can do are a pencil. Um, pencils are great because it's a little tiny fine flick. Um, usually the sharpenable pencils I don't love because they have a really uh, chunky point. Okay. And so you can't get a hair like flick. So this Trish McAvoy pencil is my favorite because it's really, really tiny and you can get a little bit of color that way. I love it. Okay, what else do you have for us? What we can do is we can use something that's a cream. This is Anastasia Dip Brow. Uh -huh. This product is great if you have no hairs whatsoever, you don't have really a shape at all. This is a cream product that delivers a lot of pigment right off the bat. Huh. And you can see using a flat angled brush really gives you, again, that hair-like look but it's all cosmetic and washes off. So if henna is not for you, if microblading is not for you, pencil is a good option. Cream is also a good option. Um, I love gels also. Okay. These are gels and this is Hannah. You can see she has a full brow already. Right. So she doesn't need a lot of these products to make hair like structures. We just need, or shapes, structures. <laughs> um, we just need that shape. So I am grooming her brow up with a spoolie. This is just clean spoolie. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, and then this is just a clear brow gel. And we are going to put it into the brow. It helps lift up the brow. So, and then okay. you just press it. All right, and what's Sisters Not Twins? Sisters Not Twins, super, super important because we really spend a ton of time on our eyebrows. If we're, if we're focusing on getting them exactly, perfectly symmetrical, they will not be. They're Sisters Not Twins. One is like a couch potato, one does yoga every day. Like, don't try to make the other one the other one. So don't worry about that if they're not yes. exactly, because people really can't tell. No, nobody can Unless tell. Unless you start to try to fix them that way, then someone's going to tell. Yeah, and it just gets bigger and bolder and fluffier, and then you look like, you know, Frida. Okay. And Take so, a step back and right. really look at yourself. Um, and let me ask you, yes. all right, someone probably has that teenage daughter out there right now yes. that went to uh, do her own brows 
and now they're gone. Exactly. Um, oh, that's the and worst. And so what do you suggest a little bit for that? So for those, what I like is a dip brow. So a creamy brow that if she has overplucked, she doesn't have any hair in a particular space, that dip brow is best. There you go. And very quickly for the men, I'm going to show you. It's yes. easy to do. Yep. And this is? This is that same brow gel, clear, and we are grooming up. And just get, making sure that they're not unruly. Like if you have those curly brows, just comb them out a bit. Yes, women don't like the them. It the face. There and you, you don't even, you cannot even tell we did anything to it. I, I like it. There you go. Love it. Leah, tell them where they can get a hold of you. LeahScheibel.com or on Instagram, Leah Scheibel. There you go. And thank you ladies very much.